I am well on my way to becoming monetized very soon. I have over 700 subscribers and over, um, almost 200 and, wait. Bruh. Oh, something was burning. Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, my name is Katherine Alexandra. On today's video, I'm gonna be offering you guys some tips on how to become consistent with posting on social media. In particular, if you're somebody who is looking to grow your YouTube channel. So if you guys are new here or if you're somebody that has been tuned in for the last couple of months, I started my YouTube channel in January of this year. I am well on my way to becoming monetized very soon. I have over 700 subscribers and almost 2,500 watch time hours. And if you guys are not aware, in order to become monetized on YouTube, you have to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So I'm very, very close to hitting that mark. And the reason why I've been able to grow my YouTube channel at such a rapid pace is due to the fact that I have been very consistent with posting. And now I know it can be very difficult to get in the habit of being consistent when it comes to posting on social media, especially with YouTube, and kind of just getting into that groove and integrating, you know, being a content creator into your day-to-day -day life. You may be somebody that is wanting to start your YouTube channel, but you just have no idea where to begin, or you might have started already, but you find yourself falling off the track. So today's video is gonna offer you guys some very, very useful tips and advice on how you can remain consistent with posting so that you can grow your channel. The first tip that I'm gonna offer you guys is to make sure that you have video topics written out well in advance before starting your YouTube channel. And what I say by this is that you should be keeping a running list of ideas video ideas, episodes that you would like to release on your platform in advance before you actually start posting on your YouTube channel. Before I posted my very first video, I had a running list of at least like 20 different topics that I wanted to address on my channel written out already. The reason why I did this is that it allowed me to plan episodes well in advance before I even recorded it. I already knew what I wanted to talk about. It was just a matter of recording the episodes editing it and uploading it. And it doesn't have to be super robust, it doesn't have to be super fleshed out, but you just wanna have topics written out so that you can go back to that list. So when you need an episode to talk about, or you're like, where do I start with my first episode? You have something that's right there for you to draw back on. So have topics written out in advance, keep a running list. Sometimes you could be outside, out and about. There's been times where I've just been like, walking down the street and I will have a topic that will come to mind and I'll immediately just write that topic down on my list. And then like I said, when it's time for me to record, the days leading up to when I'm gonna record that topic, I'll flesh out that video topic a little bit more in detail. Make sure I have the points that I wanna touch on written out. I'll start thinking about, okay, like, where in my place do I wanna record this video? If it's gonna be a tutorial, like, okay, do I have all the products that I need in order to create this tutorial? Or if I'm just gonna be sitting down here and talking to you guys on the camera, what is it that I want to address in that video? You can start fleshing it out. But keeping a running list of topics written out beforehand before you even start recording your first episode is so, so, so helpful. The second tip that I wanna offer you guys is to keep in mind that consistency becomes easier the more consistent you are. So let me break this down for you guys. The more you record, the more comfortable you'll become recording. The more you record, the faster you'll be able to record an episode. The more you edit, the faster you'll become with editing, meaning that the more you continue to do the work, the easier it becomes over time. You'll find your groove. So when I recorded my first episode for YouTube, I actually recorded two episodes and it took me hours to record these episodes and then it took me like two days to record both of these episodes why because it was my first time recording it was my first time editing it was my first time ever using final cut pro to edit so i was doing and also learning at the same time and now fast forward it's now june i've been recording and editing for the last six months I have a groove. I can record an episode within 15, 20 minutes. I can edit a video and have it uploaded within two hours. You know, I found my groove, but it's because I remain consistent with the work. 
Even when it was hard, even when I was tired, I still continued editing. I still continued recording. And the more and more I did it, the easier and easier it become. Consistency became easier the more consistent I was with my craft. So just continue to do the work, you guys. Over time, it will become easier, I promise you. So now the third tip that I want to offer you guys, it actually ties back to a episode that I shared with you guys a few weeks back where I was talking about five tips to help you start your content creation. And this tip is to make sure that you know what your purpose is and why is it important to you. Meaning, what is the purpose of your channel? And then also, why is what you're talking about important to you? So when you know what the purpose is of your channel, I said it before, purpose equals momentum. But I shared with you guys before that the purpose of my channel is to uplift and embrace black women and our black beauty from our hair to our skin to our bodies, everything that makes us black. The reason why this is important to me is because I'm also a black woman as well and I believe that community and sisterhood is important in order for us to continue to learn to love ourselves in a society that has pretty much taught us to hate the things that make us black, that has taught us to hate ourselves essentially, right? And so that is important to me. And I treat my content creation and my YouTube channel and give it the same amount of attention, if not more than I do my nine to five job. The reason why is that this is important to me. It is very important for me to grow my channel because me growing my channel is me growing and building community with other black women. So I give this content creation and recording and all of this, that same level of attention that I would do if I had to meet a deadline for my job. I make sure that I show up and I record and I edit and I stay consistent with my posting schedule. Why? Because it's important to me. Eventually I will be able to get paid for it and I view that as a great bonus and incentive, but I'm actually very passionate about coming on camera and showing up as myself and sharing that with all of my beautiful black sisters out there and building community around that. It's important. And that ties back to my purpose and all of that and having that figured out beforehand is exactly what gives me the momentum to keep going and showing up on camera and recording for you guys because I figured that out before I even release my first episode. So definitely take the time to figure out what's the purpose of your channel? Why is this doing this important to you? Why is whatever you're gonna talk about and tackle on your channel important to you? Because once you have that figured out, then you can start planning. You can start thinking of topics that you wanna address. You can start thinking about how you want your videos to look, the vibe, the feel, the aesthetic that you wanna give off. But start from knowing what your purpose is, okay? Having that in place, is going to help you become consistent as you go down the line with your content creation journey. Fourth tip that I wanna offer you guys is to make sure that you're staying in the loop on what is trending in your niche. Meaning that you wanna make sure that you are up to date and immersing yourself in whatever is happening new and what's fresh and exciting in the niche that you are creating content in. The great thing about this is that one, it always gives you the capability to have content and something to record, but also you can see what's going on out there in your niche and then add your spin to it. You can get creative and add your innovativeness to that topic. So, you know, a lot of things that I do are focused on locks and there's a lot that can be said about locks. There's a lot of content out there regarding locks. You know, we see so many people um, retwisting their locks and doing different lock styles. And you know, you can see somebody do a lock style and decide, you know what, I wanna add my own creative spin to it and do something a little different. Not that you're copying that person's content. I do not encourage anyone to go out there and replicate and do exactly what somebody else is doing. But if you're in the know of what's popular and what's trending in your community, then you know, you can look at that and then add your own spin on it. Get creative and tackle it in a way that falls in line with you and is authentic to you and your content. Last tip that I wanna offer you guys is to set goals for yourself every month. So when I released my very first episode on YouTube, I had a goal for myself. So I launched my channel in January of this year of 2023 and I said to myself, the first month that I'm on YouTube, I am going to hit 100 subscribers. And how am I gonna hit 100 subscribers? Well, I have to be uploading and I have to be consistent with uploading. So I said to myself, I'm going to upload a video every Sunday at 11 a.m. for the first couple of months on YouTube. And that's exactly what I did. 
The very first month on YouTube, I uploaded four videos. Every Sunday at 11 a.m., I ended that month with 110 subscribers. So I actually surpassed my goal. Next month and the next month and the next month, I made sure that I made a goal for myself and I did exactly what I needed to do to hit that goal every month. So again, get me in that habit of just being consistent. I'm setting those goals and seeing myself actually meet those goals and surpass it every single month gave me even more motivation and more drive to keep going harder and harder and harder every single month. But also creating realistic goals for myself. So I didn't come off the bat and say in my first month on YouTube, I'm gonna have a thousand subscribers. No, I said in the first month, I'm gonna hit a hundred subscribers. That's a very attainable and doable goal. And I sat down with myself and I, I wrote it out about how I can actually make it happen and I made it happen. And then when I made it happen that one month, I saw how I could double it up the next month and so forth and so forth. So you definitely wanna have goals and create goals for yourself that are also attainable goals. Um, but having goals in place also helps you to become consistent as well. And you know, the great thing about once you have goals in place and once you start meeting them, then you can start upping them. Like, you, like I said, they can start looking a little bit different, but nevertheless, having those goals puts you in the mindset of continuing to work and create content, which as a result will make you consistent on YouTube and whatever other social media platform you're looking to grow on. Please let me know if you decide to go ahead and implement any of these tips in your content creation journey. If you're somebody that is new and is starting out, please, please, please definitely give it a try and let me know. These are tips, like I say all the time on my channel, anything that I'm sharing to you guys is authentic to myself. I'm talking about something that I actually did and these are tips that I honestly and truly did to help me remain consistent. Um, on YouTube and I continue to do these things as well. And like I said, you know, my channel is growing. I'm so excited because I'm very, very well on my way to becoming monetized very soon and I'm excited and I cannot wait. You guys, I cannot wait till I can come on camera and share with you guys that my channel is finally monetized. It is coming very, very soon. So be on the lookout for that video. And in the meantime, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up, subscribe and turn your notifications on, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.